Now that we have created an action pad button, I would like to show you how to create a fader. Go back to the edit mode by clicking onto the helmet and add a fader. You can easily create horizontal or vertical faders. For now, I would like to create a vertical fader which will control the intensity of the cue list consisting out of the scroll text. Double click to get to the properties of the fader. And inside here, you can change the caption of the fader, which I will change to intensity. You can also set different auto text options for the caption. And you can also use two images. Image number one will be used for the body of the fader. For example, I will use something dark, something vertical here. And as all images will be resized, you don't have to worry about the exact dimensions. The second picture will be used for the fader button. So I will take something more horizontal. You can also change the options to create a tooltip. You can decode auto text, make an invisible fader, or set a scripting ID. Once again, you can change the visual style of the text, make it elliptic, or change the background style from rectangle to none. You can also set, if you don't use pictures, the colors for the active and inactive background and for the text. The most important thing is to choose which kind of value you would like to control with a fader. Shall it be a grandmaster, a cueless submaster, versatile master, network parameter, a fader on the current page, or media players, as well as a Windows mixer. For now, I would like to choose the cueless submaster, and inside of the state control parameter, I have to fill in the number of the cue list I would like to control. In this case, cue list number 5. Once you confirm the properties, and inside of the action pad, going out of the edit mode by clicking onto the helmet, you can start the scroll text by clicking onto the button and change the brightness by using the fader. The submaster now controls the intensity of the complete cue list, which you can see also in the cue list itself on the bottom. So you can also choose to change the brightness directly inside of the cue list. And keep in mind, you can create as many faders as you want. There's no limit in amounts of faders.